Yes, Major. I have made it to the site. So you're telling me I cannot be seen, heard, or fight back? All right, copy that. What is up with all of these bugs? Who's that? Hey guys, what's up? It's me, and Prezzo. Welcome back to my channel. I hope all you guys are doing great and ready for some Metal Gear Solid, because we're gonna play Metal Gear Solid 3. Um, yeah, so I've never played a Metal Gear Solid any. I've never played any of them. <laughs> um, I have the the collection here of this one, this one, and this one. But supposedly Metal Gear Solid 3 is the first one anyways. That's why it's like on that side. So we're gonna start with this one, okay? We're gonna start with this one, see how we like it. Cause like I said, I've never played a Metal Gear before. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I know I'm a long soldier. And it's set in 1964. We're on a virtuous mission and Operation Snake Eater. The origin of Metal Gear series began in 1964 at the height of the Cold War. Naked Snake, the man who would later become the legendary soldier known as Big Boss, heads into Soviet territory to help the scientist Sokolo. So I don't know how to say that. Defect to the West. However, the mission ends up in a failure when Snake's mentor, a female soldier known as the Boss, unexpectedly defects to the Soviet Union. The fate of the world hanging in the balance. Snake is forced to question the true meaning of loyalty as he embarks on a long mission to kill his former mentor. All right, let's start. <laughs> okay. I didn't want to play this. I just had to wait for it. So that, um, I didn't have it. I had to find it on eBay. <laughs> Could you? It's not. I wish it was on PC, but I don't think it is. I couldn't find it. It's not on Steam. Should be, but it's not. So I'm playing on. I'm going back to PS3 HD. <laughs> anyway, that's like the only thing I can find it. Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater HD Edition. Oh my gosh, I'm playing the Metal Gear Solid series for the first time. I am. Can we change this? Let's just pick this one. Oh, there we go. Okay. I thought that was the difficult. Normal, we're just gonna play normal. Okay. Well, why did it ask me if I was playing for the first time? After the end After of World the end War II. World War II. Oh. The world was split into two east and west this marked the beginning of the era called the cold war i'm glad i don't have to read that thank you are we gonna jump all right maybe Side. Flying over Pakistan, altitude 30,000 feet. Glad the subtitles are on. 20 minutes to drop off. Commencing oh. internal depressurization. Equipment check. Arm main parachute. All right. You ready to go? Drop zone still showing a high pressure mass. Cab okay. Good. We've got high visibility. Well, someone, well, someone's jumping. Is it gonna be me? Maybe. Yes, yes, yes. I know that's who Pull I am over there. <gasps> Connecting oxygen hose to interior connector. For real? What the heck? Put on dude? your mask. You could explode up here, yo. Oh, he don't. Whoa. Okay, he's just brave. <laughs> Fearless. Does this panty waste know what he's doing? <laughs> what the heck? I've never oh, heard anybody say that. Ten minutes to drop off. Hey, are you deaf? He said put out the cigar and put on your mask. Put on your mask. Whoa, okay. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Mask equipped. Depressurization complete. Checking oxygen supply. Six minutes to drop off. Opening rear hatch. Uh huh. U.S. Army Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater. That's what his helmet said. External temperature minus 46 degrees Celsius. Two minutes to drop off. Stand up. We look like a mosquito. You'll be falling at 130 miles per hour. Try not to get frostbite from the wind chill. Oh, I was about to say, you got really cold. One minute to drop Crap. off. Move to the rear. Activate the alarm bottle. This is one for the history books. The world's first halo jump. What's a halo jump? What's a halo Ten jump? Seconds to drop off. Stand by. My cigar Stand came back. Okay. All green. Prepare for drop off. Countdown. Five. Five. Four. Four. Three. Three. Two. One. Spread your wings and fly. God be with you. Oh my gosh. Woo. No way, no thing ever. Like, no. Cannonball. What's a halo drop? Am I gonna see what a halo drop is or I'm just gonna be on the ground? Jack, I've got some important news. Darn! The head of the CIA has finally given us the green light for the virtuous mission. Virtual mission? No, the virtuous mission. The future <laughs> of our FOX unit depends on it. If it succeeds, we'll be officially organized into a unit. Virtuous mission? Sounds like some kind of initiation ritual. That yeah, voice copy. sounds this isn't familiar. A right. So what exactly is this wonderful mission? Well, about two years ago, a certain Soviet scientist requested asylum in the West through one of our moles. Huh. His name is Nikolai Stepanovich Sokolov. Nikolai. He's head of the OKB754 Design Bureau, one of the Soviet's top secret weapon research facilities, and the East's foremost expert on weapons development. Sokolov? Isn't he that famous rocket scientist? Yeah. The very same. On April the 12th, 1961, the Soviets achieved the first manned space flight in history. The Earth was blue, but there was no God. Well spoken. The rocket that carried Yuri Gagarin to orbit was the A-1, known as the Vostok rocket. Sokolov is said to be the man most responsible for the multi-engine cluster used in that rocket. After Gagarin's flight, Sokolov left rocket development become the head of the newly established Design Bureau. From a lowly technician to head of a Design Bureau, that's quite a success story. So why do you want to defect? It seems he'd become afraid of his own creations. What? Why? Afraid. Call it a crisis of conscience. And for that, he left his country and his family behind and went over the fence? Not exactly. One of his conditions oh. was that his family was also to be taken safely to the West. We used a mole to get the family out first and succeeded in sneaking Sokolov over the Berlin Wall shortly afterwards. Are we needing him again or something? I was the one who conducted the operation. The security on the eastern side was still full of holes back then. Then what? We got Sokolov over in one piece, but the whole ordeal had left him exhausted and we checked him into a hospital in West Berlin. His voice. It took him two weeks and more than 600 miles to get from the research facility in the Soviet Union to Berlin. He was in no condition to say anything coherent. Hmm, okay. And it was only a week later that we had something much bigger on our hands. Like what? The Cuban Missile Crisis. Oh. October the 16th, 1962, President Kennedy received word that the Soviets were in the process of deploying intermediate range ballistic missiles in Cuba. <laughs> the president demanded that the Soviets dismantle and remove the missiles. At the same time, he announced a naval blockade to prevent further missile shipments from reaching Cuba. But the Soviets didn't back down, instead placing their armed forces on secondary alert. Soviet transport ships carrying missiles continued on course towards Cuba. US and Soviet forces went on alert for an all-out nuclear war. Frantic negotiations were conducted through the UN's Emergency Security Council. This is a lot of information. To end the hair-trigger standoff. 
<laughs> Finally, on October the 28th, the Soviet Union agreed to remove its missiles from Cuba. Okay. So the world avoided a nuclear holocaust. Thank God. But in order to get the Soviets to pull their missiles out, we had to make a deal. Yes. You mean the one where the U.S. agreed to remove its IRBMs from Turkey? No. The Jupiter IRBMs deployed in Turkey <laughs> no. were obsolete. And we were going to get rid of them anyway. They had no strategic value whatsoever to either the U.S. or the Russians. The Turkey deal was a ruse, a cover story that was fed to the other intelligence agencies around the world. So what did the Russians really want? The missiles. Sokolov. Oh, they want him? Yeah, they, they want him. To return Sokolov. For more missiles. You mean the Soviets pulled out of Cuba just to get their hands on Sokolov? That's right. Maybe. I don't know. What the hell was he working on? Missiles. At the time, we had no idea. A nuke. We were running out of time. It was either give up Sokolov or risk full-scale nuclear war. In the end, we had no choice. To give him President up. Kennedy gave in to Khrushchev's demand. And you gave up The Sokolov? next day, I got Sokolov out of the hospital. Sokolov. Handing him over to agents on the eastern side. Sorry, Sokolov. Sokolov. kept on screaming, save me. Until oh, that's sad. Was. What the heck? Why would he do that to our person? Then a month ago, he we was received dead. some new information oh. from one of our moles. Oh, is he alive? Sokolov? No. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. He was taken back to the research <laughs> facility and forced to continue working on the weapon in question under KGB's... Uh, what weapon? What's more, it's on the verge of completion. Oh, so crap. what kind of weapon is it? Something to do with space rockets? Has to be no. a rocket. Missiles. Oh. I thought it was missiles. Same technology. Isn't that the same thing? Exactly. I guess you're right. We don't know the details, but it appears to be a new kind of nuclear device. As For half a year now, the Soviets space have been missile rocket. frequent nuclear tests at semi palatins Something to do with the weapon, I assume. We're yes. talking about a secret weapon so big that Khrushchev was ready to pull out of Cuba to get it back. Oh, shoot. It's going to destroy the world. Wait, why would they no, do that? According <laughs> to our intelligence, he's in Selino Yask, a place in the mountains about three miles to the west that's known as the Virgin Cliffs. All right, is that where I'm going? Virgin Cliffs. Nice name for a virtuous mission. They moved him there just recently. Nice name for a Why? virtuous mission. Apparently, they're conducting a field test of the weapon, but it's our best chance to get him back. I'll get this him back. This would never have been possible if he was still in the research facility. Perfect, then. This is our last chance. It's Sokolov our only must chance. Have known that too when he contacted us. Oh, what's brave. So, so full of love. Can I say his name again? Did it just freeze? Oh. I was like, this did not just freeze. I don't want to restart it. I don't want to listen to all that again. That was a lot of information. I just need to know who I'm getting back and what they want to explode or what they what weapon they're building. What is the halo jump? Listen up, Jack. Your mission is to infiltrate oh. Selino Yask in the Soviet mountains. Ensure the Why safety of Sokolov and bring him back this? to the West. Why do I need to press R1? If we don't get Sokolov back before that weapon is complete, we'll be facing Point a major crisis. Point of view crisis. only. Point of view. The clock is ticking. Tick tock. <laughs> Once we've confirmed the rescue of Sokolov, stand by at the recovery point. A recovery balloon will be dropped at that point. Helium will be pumped into the balloon to inflate it. The process takes about 20 minutes. All right, why is the subtitle Once doubled? Once it's complete, the gunship's arm will latch onto the balloon and pull it up. The full Has it been like that? Air recovery system. I'm familiar with the theory. Take it easy. It's been combat proof. All right. What do I think Sokolov is up to it? The shock will be less than during a parachute jump, and the arm can handle up to 500 pounds. Oh, um, wait. So you're planning on going over the border in a single combat talent? She's equipped with two six-barrel 20-millimeter Vulcan cannons, as well as two 40-millimeter machine guns. Sounds like she could hold her own against a battalion of tanks. Even with the fuel in the reserve tank, we're facing a four-hour time limit. If all Four goes well, hours? It shouldn't take more than a few hours. Okay. Oh, time for 30 dinner. minutes. But if anything goes wrong, you'll be eating dinner, breakfast, and all the rest of your meals in the jungle. Perfect. I'll eat some snakes.
What was the halo jump? Nothing specific, I guess. Through the trees. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh my god, that's not safe at all. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, did we need that? Is that our backpack? Oh my freaking gosh, there's a cliff. Ooh. Golly. You don't want to land in the woods. What if a branch went through your arm? That I, I've seen that in real life happen. For real. I've seen it happen. Whoa, it's so so empty and and long. <sighs> Why the heck? Why is it doing that? It's like <laughs> his dramatic looks and um throwing off the equipment is funny. Why are we hiding behind the dang tree? Is there somebody there? Do you copy? You're already in enemy territory and somebody might be listening in. Oh. From here on out, we'll be using code names to refer to each other. Okay. Your code name for this mission will be Naked Snake. I'll okay. be referring to you as Snake from now on. Okay, You're thanks. not to mention your real name. Snake? Well, yes. you don't like snakes? I love you them. Well, you've eaten one before, haven't you? In survival training. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. I don't know if I'd ever order one in a restaurant, but... Be careful. You might not have a choice. What about you, Major? What should I call you? Hmm, let's see. I'll be... I'll be Tom. Call me Major Tom. Why is this not will Tom? be a sneaking mission. You must not be seen by the enemy. Okay. You must leave no trace of your presence. Is that clear? Aye, this aye. kind of infiltration <laughs> is the Fox Unit's Coffee. speciality. All In right. other words, weapons and equipment are procured on site. That goes for food as well. You're completely naked, just as your name implies. <gasps> Snake! Great. Now I see why you asked me if I like snakes. I suppose calling me Snake was your idea of a joke, too. No. There's a good reason for that. I'll tell you oh, later when the time is right. Gotcha. Oh, okay. Getting back to the subject, how exactly am I supposed to feed myself? You've been issued a knife and a tranquilizer gun. Use them to hunt for food. You'll also find some medical I supplies got a knife. in your backpack. I lost yeah, my backpack. Yeah, about the backpack. I lost it in a tree on the way down. Yeah. Well, that's it. You're gonna like say it. Well, oh. you'd better go back and get it then. Well, okay. You know where it is? No. No problem. I can see it from here. It's oh. stuck on a branch. How? How can you see it? To climb on a, a tree, branch. stand in front of a tree that's covered in ivy and press the action button. I know how to climb a dang tree. I'll be monitoring your progress over the radio. We can't risk violating Soviet airspace, but I'll be in the gunship. Okay. My frequency is 140.85. I'll give you a call if I need to talk to you. Okay, because I'm not going to You need to talk that. to me. Use huh. the send function. Send okay, function. Okay, Snake. Go get your backpack. Why would I need to talk? I'm gonna go get my backpack. I don't know how to climb a freaking tree. Where is my backpack? Can I jump over this? Oh, what the heck? What is that splitter? Olive drab. But get up! This is that tree. I hardly saw this backpack. I grab it. <gasps> I got it. <clears throat> Why is he calling me again? I see you've retrieved your backpack, Snake. Yeah. To equip a weapon, oh. it's necessary to take it out of your backpack. Probably. In the survival viewer, choose weapon from the backpack. Your available weapons will be displayed in a window in the upper left. From that list, choose the weapon you want to equip and press the enter button. For other equipped items, yeah. just do the same thing from item. Got it. Use the survival viewer backpack. 
Yep, that's right. Survival is oh, fundamental gosh. to this mission. Okay. After you've been out in the field for a while, your stamina will start to drop. If your stamina gets too low, it'll affect your performance. What? You won't be able to shoot accurately, for example, and your wounds won't heal as smoothly. What do I need to Keep do? Keep an eye on your stamina so you don't run out. Oh, to recover golly. lost stamina, you can hunt for local flora and fauna. What? You can use either your tranquilizer gun or your knife to hunt. I really My gotta only eat. weapon is a Mark 22 Hush Puppy tranquilizer gun. That's right. It's been fitted with its own suppressor. However, the suppressor will deteriorate every time you fire. Once its durability reaches zero, the noise suppression effect will be gone. So don't get too trigger happy with it. Mm. The suppressor's durability is shown in the icon. Any weapons and equipment beyond what you're carrying now, you'll have to find as you go. Oh, I have to find my own weapons and equipment? Whose crazy yeah. idea was this anyway? His. Solo covert actions are standard Fox operating procedure. You can't leave any traces of your presence. No weapons, equipment, footprints, sweat, or bodily sweat. waste. Sweat? How would anyone Same find my sweat? Bullets and cartridges, too. Your presence oh, in enemy kidding. territory is already a violation of international conventions of warfare. There aren't supposed to be any American soldiers in Russia. It could spark an international incident. Well, give me one can't of their let guns. Anyone see you? You can't let the enemy know you're there. This is a stealth mission. You're a ghost snake in okay. every sense of the word. And there'll be no rescue if you're captured. <gasps> the military and U.S. government will deny any involvement in the affair. Then I'll just have to take care of myself, huh? I'm afraid so. You've been given a fake death pill for that purpose. <gasps> SIS guidelines stipulate that soldiers on covert ops like this one be issued a potassium cyanide capsule. To kill myself? Take it to your body so you can take it when you need to. How generous of you. <laughs> Use it if you're taken prisoner by the enemy. It'll send you into a state of false death for a short time. Oh, okay. Fooling them into thinking that I'm really dead. So how do I come back to life? Just take the revival pill. Ow, I would be dead. To tooth before the mission. Oh. That's the one. How but would I chomp it? You remain in a state of false death for too long. Nothing will be able to bring you back. How will, I, how will I know I'll when to chomp it, it? You said this was a solo mission, right? Right. I guess that means I can't count on any reinforcements. Correct. The mission rests entirely in your hands. A real one-man army. Relax. There's a support team ready to back you up over the radio. Who? I'll introduce them to you. This time, survival is of utmost importance. The first okay. member of the support team will be in charge of monitoring your physical condition, acting as a medic, so to speak, as well as recording your mission data. Where is she's he? She's a member of Fox as well, and she's here on the gunship with me. She? Hello, Snake. I'm paramedic. Nice to meet you. Paramedic? As in a medic who comes in by parachute. Oh. Aren't you going to tell me your real name? Are you going to tell me yours, Mr. Snake? My name, huh? It's John Doe. And they call you Jack for short. You're a regular Captain Nemo. A name means nothing on the battlefield. After a week, no one has a name. Because they're What's your dead. Name? Jane Doe. Very oh, wow. Funny. I wasn't Why does joking, it matter? But I'll tell you my name only if you manage to make it back alive. Okay. My frequency is 145.73. I won't remember it. She's also in charge of recording your mission data. Whenever you oh, want to great. save, send oh, a message ooh. over the reserved save frequency. 140.96. Is that a new so number? So saving lets me record my mission data. That's right. It also records the state of your health. Good to know. I need to walk There's around now. There's one more person I want to introduce you to, Snake. Tarn it. <laughs> Speaking of snakes, you remember the boss, don't you? I heard of him. A legendary name. soldier and your mentor. Actually, it was the boss that got the DCI's authorization in the first place. She's going to be serving as Fox's mission advisor. The boss is? She also helped me plan this mission. She and I were at SAS together. What is that Jack, mean? is that you? How many years has it been? My real name's boss? Jack. Boss? That's right. It's me. Thought I was going to kill her. <sighs> Talk to me. Let me hear your voice. Thought we weren't supposed to use it's real been names. Five years, seventy-two days, and eighteen, 18 hours. Eighteen hours. You've lost weight. How do you, you can, can see tell me? just by the sound of my voice? Of course I can. I know all about you. Really? Well, I don't know anything about you. Ah. What's that supposed to mean? What? Is Why'd you disappear it? on me all of a sudden? Ooh. I was on a top secret mission. Hmm. 
You didn't need me anymore. But there were still so many things I wanted you to teach me. No. I taught you everything yeah. you needed to know about fighting techniques. Uh, I taught you all I could. I don't know anything The rest yet. you needed to learn on your own. Techniques, sure. But what about how to think like a soldier? How to think like a soldier? I can't teach you that. A soldier needs to be strong in spirit, body, and technique. And the only thing you can learn from someone else is technique. True. In fact, technique doesn't even matter. What's most important is spirit. Spirit and body are like two sides of a single coin. They're the same thing. I can't teach you how to think. You'll just have to figure it out for yourself. I Listen guess so. Me, Jack. Just because soldiers are on the same side right now doesn't mean they always will be. Having personal feelings about your comrades is one of the worst sins you can commit. Politics determine who you face on the battlefield. And politics are a living thing. They change along with the times. Yesterday's good might be tomorrow's evil. Is that All why you right. abandoned me? Oh my gosh, she no, just said she was on a mission. to do with you. I already told you, Jack. I was on a top secret mission. A soldier has to follow whatever orders he's given. It's not his place to question why. But you're looking for a reason to fight. You're a natural born fighter. But you're not quite a soldier. Uh, what? A soldier is a political tool, nothing more. That's doubly true if he's a career soldier. Right and wrong have no place in his mission. He has no enemies. Golly, we gonna speak for a dang Only hour. The mission. You follow the orders you're given. That's what being a soldier is. Got I it. I do whatever I have to to get the job done. I don't think about politics. That's exactly. not the same thing. Sooner or later, your conscience is going to bother you. In the end, you have to choose whether you're going to live as a soldier or just another man with a gun. There's a saying in the Orient, loyalty to the end. Do you know what it means? Being patriotic. It means devoting yourself to your country. I follow the president and the top brass. I'm ready to die for them if necessary. The president and the top brass won't be there forever. Once their terms are up, others will take their place. I follow yes. the will of the leader, no matter who's in charge. People aren't the ones who dictate the missions. Then who does? The times. People's values change over time, and so do the leaders of a country. So there's no such thing as an enemy in absolute terms. I the feel like I'm learning a lot. <laughs> are only enemies in relative terms, constantly changing with the times. She as words things really good. Loyalty to the end. There's no point in believing in anything, even in those we love. And that's the way a soldier's supposed to think. Mm. The only thing we can believe in with absolute certainty is the mission, Jack. All right. there. But I hope none think. of y'all got a family. What is it? Call me Snake. Snake. Oh, right. Your code name is Snake. It suits you well. Yeah, you should know. That's Don't right. call me by the my real name. Unit People are listening. The together during World War II was a snake. The Cobra Unit. A group of heroes that brought the war to an end and saved the world. <laughs> as long as you've got a legendary hero backing you up, you'll be fine. Isn't that right, Snake? Yes, oh, amigo! I can't think of anyone else I'd rather have with me. Oh, and one more thing, boss. Let me yes. go. It's Bye. good to hear your voice again. I need to go walk Same around. Here. After all, who knows if either of us will make it out alive. Snake, who knows? you are always best at urban warfare and infiltrating buildings. But oh, this okay. is the jungle. Oh, Survival yes, is. is going to be key. The CQC worry. techniques I taught you are sure to come in handy. I already forgot everything CQC. that man told me about weapons. Close quarters combat, huh? I've been in the Green Berets for the past few years. I'm probably pretty rusty. Not to worry. I'll be here to help you remember. Okay. After all, this is your first actual survival mission. Okay. It is. I'll be supporting you over the radio. Oh, maybe Where because I picked, I've never Next played this before. The boss is communicating with us by radio ah! from aboard a permit class submarine in the Arctic Ocean. My frequency is 141.80. Call me if you need my advice on battle techniques. Do I need to gotcha. write this down? Your mission is to retrieve Dr. Sokolov. <laughs> Dr. Sokolov is being held in an abandoned factory located to the north of your current position. Okay. Avoid heavy combat and don't let anyone see you. I won't. Don't forget that this is a stealth mission. I'm gonna forget if we don't hang up. Thank you. Oh, Kali, my god. Snake, 
Try to remember some of the basics of CQC. Well, what? I like everything she said. It just was a little too long. Because I, I wanted to check out the weapon thing that that man said first. Commencing virtuous mission now. All right, finally. Now what he say? Fat Pat. Wait, I don't get what I'm doing. All right, okay, let's keep our knife out. Okay, I got the hang of it a little bit. Can I jump? I can roll though. All right, all right. Is this where I'm supposed to go? Probably should have looked for food. I don't think there was any right there. How do we bend down? Not all the way, just a little. Oh, okay. Never rally for your men. What's oh. <gasps> An alligator! Can I kill an alligator? Oh, like that. It should be dead. It's sleeping. Oh, crap. Oh my god, I'm horrible at this. How many I got? Oh my god, okay, I didn't I didn't notice. I thought it was unlimited. I need the food. I need the alligator. Maybe I won't eat alligator. I am sinking. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. <sighs> oh my gosh. Whatever. Good night. Hurry up. God, there's some, wait a minute. I think I just saw some beehive. Can I get that? It's like honey. There's a bird. Can I shoot that bird? Can I actually shoot that? <gasps> what the heck? Can I go get it? I go! <laughs> I can shoot and get honey. I need to learn how to like, that's all you can do is just, this is gonna be hard, I know it, oh my gosh. All right, this is gonna be really hard, I can already tell. Two enemy soldiers. They're probably KGB troops sent to guard Sokolov. Okay. AK-47s and grenades. How the heck am I gonna get past that? Snake, your presence in Soviet territory is already a violation of international law. We can't let the Kremlin find out that the CIA and the American government are involved. Contact with the enemy is strictly prohibited. Don't engage them in battle either. This is a stealth mission. Got okay, that? so no weapons, the no tranquilizers. The point of this mission is to sneak through the jungle without being seen. The success of the mission depends on how well you use your camouflage. Change your camouflage by selecting camouflage from the survival viewer. The uniform okay. option lets you pick your uniform, while the face option lets you change your face paint. Choosing camouflage that blends in with your surroundings will help you conceal yourself more effectively. Oh my gosh. Also, don't forget <sighs> that anything that moves will stand out in the jungle. If you just stand up and run around like an idiot, you're bound to be spotted. But if well, you fall instead, you should be able to sneak by without being noticed. 
I'm gonna get noticed. You can see how effective your camouflage is by looking at the camo index. Okay. The camo index shows how well your current camouflage blends in with the surrounding area. Yes. The higher the value, the harder you are to spot. Got it. She speaks too slow. But I do need to listen to her because... Okay. All right, let's let's have our knife out only. <gasps> oh, which way should I go first? Maybe this way. Is he gonna see me from that far? Oh, I just need to look at my percent. Oh, I can't see anything. Can I go in the log? I got some bug juice! What is that exactly? Wish I could tranquilize you, but I won't. I won't. I can't see! How do I stand back up? <gasps> oh my god, he's gonna step on me. There's a tree. Is he behind me? <laughs> oh no. I don't remember which way I was looking. Okay. Crap. I got a grenade. Well, now we can't see. Why well, can't look over that way? Oh. Shoot, 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 shoot. Come on. Just come on. Come on, keep walking. supposed to go up there <gasps> run <laughs> oh my god that's hard Oh, I'm supposed to get past this crap. Beehive. You shoot it, please, not me. Is this what I'm supposed to do? Huh? <gasps> oh, free. Oh, God. I hear something. Oh, my God. I have no freaking idea if I was supposed to do that or not. 
Is that the bee hive? Oh. I need to get past this bridge. Oh, shoot. Heck yeah, this is how I get past the dang bridge. Heck yeah. Uh. Oh, they running for their life. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. I kept shooting the wrong thing, I guess. Send out on all these people. I've reached the abandoned factory where Sokolov is supposedly being held. This place is a dump. It looks really hard. I can't see Sokolov from here. The security is pretty tight. There are sentries posted around the perimeter. I wonder how many are inside. Oh no. So now this is red. Do I need to camouflage again? Your objective, Sokolov, is inside the factory. They should be holding him in a room in the northeast section. Northeast section. Got it. Be careful. Your mission is to bring Sokolov back alive. He must not be exposed to any kind of danger. Do not approach Sokolov while in the alert phase. Oh. Right. What oh, do you mean? And one more thing, Snake. You mean there's more? No, it's just that when you get to Sokolov, I want you to tell him something from me. What? And that is? Sorry for being so late. Is that all? Yes. Understood. <laughs> Beginning my approach to the target. Well, we're gonna try. That's for sure. I need to save it. Oh, gosh. Now, how do I just... Is that a freaking owl? How many guards are here? Can I jump on this? <gasps> Let's walk, dude. How he stands behind that. Golly, where am I supposed to go? Huh? <gasps> Footsteps. No. Huh? <gasps> Footsteps. There's not any. Huh? Footsteps. No. Somewhere in there. I'm just going to follow along this guy's path. Behind the trees. Oh crap. Uh oh. There's that other guy. Crap. Alright, he's not coming this way. Can I go up here? Is there anybody in here? Huh? <gasps> Who's, that? Who's that? You're kidding. Are they gonna ex I'm gonna die up here.
y'all about to get stabbed. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Get up, Snake! I'm sorry, guys. I know I'm not supposed to be doing this. That was really bad. I didn't know I could fight them though. We gotta wait a little bit. Do I need to wait for that caution to go down? Can I go in this door? Oh. It kept restarting. Um. Is that him? Yes, that is him. This is Eyeglass. You must be Sokolov. Are you one of Vulcan's men? You'll never get it from me. No. I'm a CIA agent. I've come to escort you back to the other side of the Iron Curtain. Oh, uh, he might die on the way back. CIA. Yeah. I was sent by Major Zero, the man who got you out two years ago. Zero. I have a message from him. <laughs> what is it? Sorry for he being said to late. Tell you, sorry for being so late. Did he now? What does it mean? It means he's a man of his word. But we've got no time for this. You have to get me out of here before they arrive. Oh yeah, right. Who's they? Colonel Volgan of Gru. You in the West know him as Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt? Never heard of him. Hmm. He's a member of the army's extremist faction, a man who seeks to seize control of the motherland. Ever since the Cuban Missile Crisis two years ago, Khrushchev has been pursuing a policy of peaceful coexistence with the West. Despite resistance and criticism from hawks in the army and the provincial authorities, Khrushchev has managed to suppress the opposition so far, but the failure of his agricultural policies has put him in a precarious position. And on top of that, the tragedy last November. President Kennedy's assassination. <laughs> you know Precisely. what? In a sense, I'm gonna I'm enjoy the these cutscenes because power base is rapidly that's thinking around away. crap is hard. A certain group is plotting to use this opportunity to seize power by rallying the anti-government forces, overthrowing Khrushchev, and installing Brezhnev and Kosygin in his place. The mastermind behind this plot is Colonel Volgin of the Gru. Colonel Volgin. He has control over another secret weapons research facility much like this one, OKB-812, known as the Granin Design Bureau, and is using it to further his plans. But that is not enough to satisfy him. Let's now, see his face. Seize the secret weapon I have been developing here and use it as leverage in his bid for power. Uh oh, what's your secret weapon? What was it? You know what? I'm glad I know that I can finally stab those guys. The intelligence says that they are going to make their move during the test. Then, the soldiers outside. Exactly. Some are dead. They wouldn't need that many men just to keep me inside. Their orders mm. were to prevent mm. Colonel Volgin from capturing me. Ooh, okay. Even if it meant killing me in the process, or so it would seem. Let's go then. No promises on safe return. Volgin will come. I'm sure of it. You Did must get fight me him? out of here before then. Leave okay. it to me. Well, <laughs> I'm not the best. That's for sure. By the way, your Russian is superb. 
haven't spoke Russian. Where did you learn to speak it? I haven't even spoke From it. My mentor. I guess I never heard him speak Russian. Is that so? America is truly a frightening country. <laughs> Having second thoughts? No. I have no love for this place. Let's go. Okay, well, you this is your death wish, I guess. Major, this is Snake. Sokolov is safe with me. He's doing fine. No injuries. Good work, Snake. Now hurry up and get Sokolov to the recovery point. We'll rendezvous with you there. Roger. What about the sentries? Where's his rendezvous? I had to kill them. There was no other way. But no one will know we were involved. I see. Sorry. What about the boss? We lost contact with the boss some time ago. What happened? It's probably just a weak signal. Just hurry and get Sokolov out of there. I use a knife, don't worry, no bullet was left behind. No American bullet. All right, let's go stab some more people because that's the only way we get in through this. It's the only way, it's the only way. <sighs> stab our way through. Just get behind me, let me stab my way through. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I want to call him Alfred. Not Sovaloff. What you doing? They ain't they ain't possessed. That ain't gonna help. What's he doing? <laughs> Kamehameha. <laughs> that guy. Oh no. When I get that gun, have I been having that gun? I had a tranquilizer. Oh crap. We've been seen and it wasn't my what? fault. Bam, bam, bam. Stab, stab, stab. Crap, crap, crap. <laughs> Look what we did. Maybe a blow up a pipe. Don't so put me. This is the legendary boss. Huh? 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 We meet at last. Is that him? Oh crap, he's got some skills. You! You're from the Ocelot unit of Spetsnaz. Huh? What's a crew soldier doing here? With a little gun. Soldier? He's the Ocelot commander. <laughs> That's Major Ocelot to you. <laughs> Don't you forget it. All right. What do I need to do? I'm confused. Sokolov is ours. Now get out of here. An Ocelot never lets his prey escape. He got fight us with his hands. What? <laughs> Oh good, he's gonna kill them. Thank you, gee whiz. Thank you, okay, now it's my turn to fight. It's just y'all's shoulders. Sniper. Whoa, he ricocheted that off. That's, that was talent. That's talent. But that ain't real. I mean, maybe, unless that pipe was pretty thick. That'd be a really thick piece of metal in order to do that. You're on my head. All right. Well, that's not my head. This is how I was pretending to be him. <laughs> I can't say it feels good to kill a comrade, even if it is for the Gru. <gasps> Sokolov, take cover. Oh no, we're gonna fight this talented guy. 
This talented Russian man. Is he Russian? I think so. Huh. You're not the boss, are you? Was he a cat? You're kidding. Crew operatives? What is that stance? I don't know, it's shaky. Uh, that gun. It's a tranquilizer, <laughs> I thought. <laughs> Don't make fun of my gun. If you're not the boss. Then die. I'm the boss. Wait, what? <laughs> That's what you get. Major. I Leave it. Shoot the other one. Whoa. Body armor. Broken neck. Darn, he darn. Boom. Pull the trigger. Or not. All right, he's letting he's letting them live. He's hurting them though. All right, y'all should respect that. Respect that. Let me live. I for I. I mean, like, wait. <laughs> Let me live, I'll let you live. Oh, you got tranquilized. Was that us? We, that's right, we only have a tranquilizer, right? Ha! Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay, I was right, that's our tranquilizer. Uh, Golly, it looks the same as a gun. Tranquilize times four. What about that bullet? What about that bullet? What about that bullet? I thought I was you ejected fight the him. first bullet by hand, didn't you? I see what you were trying to do, but testing a technique you've only heard about in the middle of battle wasn't very smart. You were asking to have your gun jam on you. Huh? Besides, I don't think ah, you're cut out for an automatic. He's about to pass place. out now. You tend to twist your elbow to absorb the recoil. That's more of a revolver technique. Oh, wow. You filthy American dog! He's got a knife. <laughs> Tranquilize him in the neck. Or not, let's not waste him. <laughs> Who's the boss now? Say that. But that was some fancy shooting. It pretty You're was. Pretty it was. Good. He is pretty good. That ricochet was pretty awesome. Pretty good. <sighs> <laughs> Nighty night. Sokolov, where are you? Ooh, I, thought, I thought I was gonna fight him. I was like, oh, I don't know about that. Major, do you read me? I read you. Snake, you all right? I've no. run into a few snags. These guys were after Sokolov too. Apparently they were taking orders from a Gru colonel named Volgan. A Gru colonel? Part of an internal Soviet power struggle, according to Sokolov. Something between the KGB and Gru. Between Khrushchev's supporters and Volgans. Sokolov was being guarded by the KGB and hunted by Gru? Snake, it sounds like this could be even hotter than Cuba. I don't like it. Something about the whole thing stinks. I agree. Uh, You'd better hurry. Sokolov ran off by himself, but I'll catch up to him. We're counting Darn. on you. He shouldn't have ran. Because I'm going to have to sneak around again. Uh, or stab. Oh, can they wake up? Am I going back through? I don't know. Yes, I do. What's he doing? Peeing? Oh, no. <laughs> you okay? Those men were from the Ocelot unit, Spetsnaz. Yes. The best crew has to offer. 
They're coming for me. They're there, pass I'm out. Finished. Calm down. I'll get you out of here, I promise. And we've got some of the best backup we could ask for. Look. Uh-oh. What just happened? Is that a rendezvous site? That's what they were making you build. Yes. A the Shanghai. The treading behemoth. A tank capable of launching nuclear Oh, a tank. IRBM. It looked like a spaceship. Missiles from that kind of terrain. Oh, yes. And without support from friendly units. A nuclear equipped tank capable of operating solo. Is that thing finished? No. This is only the end of phase one. It won't be truly finished until we complete phase two. Phase two. The weapon's true form. If it is completed and the Colonel gets his hands on it, it will mean the end of the Cold War. The end of the Cold War? Yes. And then the Age of Fear oh. will truly begin. A world war. <gasps> I had no choice but to cooperate. I didn't want to die. I wanted to see my wife and child Aww. again in America. Please take me to America quickly. Uh, they I'm not gonna be quick. It without my help. Got it. Let's go. I just won't be quick. That's for sure. Poor guy has to follow me. The nightmare bridge with the bumblebees. Dude, just stay close, man. Don't fall off either. <laughs> Don't fall off. Don't fall off. But I ain't gonna find you after that, that's for sure. Uh oh, how do we not see her? Oh. Who is that? Is she on our team? Who is that? Why is she walking like this? The boss. Lori Allen. Boss? What the heck is she? Yeah, she betrays us. <gasps> no, hang on! Don't fall. I don't want him to fall. Good work, Jack. Oh. What are you doing here? Sokolov comes with me. What the heck is that? What's she like? What is that? Huh? What is that, bugs? <laughs> Hornets. Wow! What the heck? Ah! Is he controlling hornets? How? Why? Okay, so this is when we have to find her and like try to kill her. Like I said in the beginning. Oh, is she still here? Sorry, Sokolov. I'll find you again. Don't let the hornets get ya. Ooh, who is that? Who is that? Look, a vampire. Friends, let us fight together again. I have waited long for this day. They are evil. We will fight with you once more. What, they got a parrot? Welcome back. What the heck? What the heck? What the heck is wrong with all of them? Five of us are together. It's time we go to the depths of hell itself. Ooh, it looks like y'all been there and came back. Run, man. She, she's 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 No, it's not. Is he crying? She's on something. What in the heck? 
What the heck? Shoot her! Wait, I don't have a gun. It's tranquilizer. Tranquilize her! Major? Thunderbolt! Kuwabara. Wait, no, who is this? Kuwabara, Kuwabara, what's that? Is that fish? What does that mean? I forgot. Ah, what a joyful scene. Colonel Vogan. Welcome to my country. And to my unit. Vogan. Okay, I only got a tranquilizer, Boss, guys. What is this? Yeah, what is that? I'm defecting to the Soviet Union. Sokolov is a little gift for my new hosts. Recoilless nuclear warheads. It's like a big movie. <laughs> These will make a fine gift for me. This can't be happening. Who is he? The person who's your gonna disciples? take you out. Disciples? Are we taking him with us? No! No, this one is still just a child. Too pure for us cobras. Cobras? <laughs> He has not yet found an emotion to carry Wait, into I'm a snake. What are you talking about? Think you can pull the trigger? It's a tranquilizer, yes. Ow. Ow. Huh? Whoa, not no more. You took it. Got a knife, though. That better not be my tranquilizer. Ow. Don't knock me. Oh, no! I needed the arm! Specifically, that one. Wait, was that my left? You've seen my face. So? I don't remember. Can't let him live. What the heck? He's got powers. How? How y'all got powers like that? One can control Hornets and one can control Chef Thunder. finds out about this, we're finished. Oh, is that bullet? He's he charging die. them up. Wait. He's my apprentice. I'll take care of him. Just push me in the water. Just push me in the water. Jack, you Ball. can't come with us. I don't want to. I don't want to. Y'all are weird. Y'all are crazy. <laughs> what is he gonna do? Or what is she gonna do? Oh! In the ribs. Rip her ear off! Thank you, I just wanted to go in the water. Ah! I bet we're gonna use that for our arm. We're gonna use that the for our arm. Blood has been rejected. Good, I don't wanna be accepted. Don't look sad. Are we done here? Yes. Now, onto Sokolov's research facility. Shagohad is ours. Yeah. Don't look sad. She ain't playing. Wait a minute. Drift is she away. pretending? Drift away. I am drifting away. Far away. My place is with them now. Are you sure about that? Or are you lying? Nah, she ain't lying. She's serious. She's for real and she's crazy, lady. Don't trust her. Not even at the end. Okay, okay. Wakey, wakey. I'm glad I can I give me a gun. I don't want to sneak around no more. I want to want to shoot and stab. I don't want to I don't want to sneak around. Oh. They all know I'm here. 
Right? They all know I'm here now. Well, just them. Snake, can you hear me? Barely. Yeah. <laughs> just barely. <laughs> Snake, listen to me. You need emergency medical treatment. Can you move? Yeah. <sighs> You've got to get those wounds treated. Hang in there. What is that? Medic. Meta. All right. Para, let's get you para. fixed up. Paramedic? Okay, Snake. Just relax and it'll all be over before you know it. No, I don't say it like that. You feel like I'm about to die. Stay with me. I've seen people in worse shape before. Think you can handle it? Yeah, no problem. No Major. Problem. The boss. She's defected. We'll talk about that later. First, we've got to get you patched up. Okay, here we go. First, open the survival viewer with the start button. Okay. Cure. If you select cure, you can start the treatment. Oh, what? Healing is divided into treatment using medicine with the item window button and surgical treatment using the weapon window button. Your injuries include a fractured left elbow and rib bone and lacerations on your upper arms, right elbow, and abdomen. They need to be fixed using surgical treatment. Well, oh my god. Move the healing cursor with the left stick to the affected part of your body. Once you've selected the affected area, hold the weapon window button and use the left stick to select the medical item and then press the inner button. With this method, you can use items to help your recovery process. To treat a bone fracture, first secure the affected area with a fastener and then wrap it in bandages. That should do it. For lacerations, you'll need disinfectant to clean the wound, sutures to stitch it up, oh stick my to slow the flow of blood, and bandages to wrap the wound. If you do everything I mentioned, the wound should heal completely. I'm Understood? not. No. Yeah. Stay with me. Go into the survival viewer and treat those wounds. I thought she was gonna do it. That's ridiculous. Don't time me now. Bone fracture. Suffering from a deep cut. No bandage applied. Okay, so we gotta disinfect it. And then... Patch it up. And then bandage. There we go. Oh, I have to sew it up. I gotta sew everything. My bad. Good, it tells you what to do. <laughs> okay, it wasn't it wasn't bad looking. Ugh. We need to sleep. You need to sleep for a little bit. Is that ours now? Oh, so we're actually gonna. Oh, yeah, see, I knew we were gonna use it. <laughs> Perfect. Good job, Snake. Thank you. We're coming to get you now. Just stay where you are. We'll drop a recovery balloon. Can you set it up? Y'all want me to do everything, and I just got like almost dead. I was almost dead. Here's my recovery balloon. Oh, y'all met a helicopter? Wait. Wait, what, what am I gonna have to set up? Oh, what the heck is that thing? Oh, that's a, that's a tank. That's a tank. They're transporting that tank. Shagohard. She better not see me. You better not see me, girl. No! What the heck, Snake? Don't be no like that crap. 
crap to her. She she's just crazy. He didn't see her. He's just like, no wait. Maybe okay, maybe he did. I don't freaking know. That's weird. She just betrayed everybody. It's not like she's pretending. Or is she? Is she undercover? Crazy. <laughs> Is it a rocket launcher? Excellent. A great success. Thanks to the boss and her cobras, I have both Sokolov and the Shagohod. What? What are we going to do with the girl? Who is that girl? Who is she? Apparently she's Sokolov's woman. Oh, <gasps> that's his wife? Oh no. She's a nice catch. I'll take her. Uh oh. Not so fast, my dear. What is that? Lipstick? A kiss of death? Are you KGB? We may be able to use her. She has spunk. <laughs> Shall we take her back to the base? Perhaps we should. We have no further use for Sokolov's research facility. I think it's time I gave this marvelous new toy what? a try. Oh, crap right here. What the heck? Huh. Even if they are our enemies, they're still our countrymen. But it won't be me that pulled the trigger. It'll be our friend, the American defector. No! Group, your fellow Russians? <laughs> the Alamo. Colonel! Uh-oh. Whoa, he's evil? Oh, no. Snake is definitely nearby that area, that's for sure. Maybe that guy will help me, the other one. Is that my balloon drop? Uh, yeah. I ain't gonna find out no more, that's for sure. I'm gonna get blamed for this. Alright, it didn't, it didn't like necessarily get me the eyes. Was just the beginning it felt like a movie <laughs> it's actually kind of hard that's sneaking around golly am I gonna be able to get through this I don't freaking know one week later 10 30 p.m. August 30th 1964 Arctic Ocean airspace Currently flying over the Arctic Ocean, altitude 30,000 feet, approaching Soviet airspace. Arriving at the designated drone launch point. Drone oil pressure and voltage are nominal. Payload oxygen supply is nominal. Power supply to payload antifreeze system shows no problems. No gusts. All systems go for drone detachment. Uh, so we can't risk a halo jump this time around. 
As okay. we security has gotten tighter since we were last here. We can't get as close to the ground as we did during the Virtuous mission. So instead, we'll be using one of our newest weapons. Snake, you're being given an honor on par with Alan Shepard. This is our last chance. Show your patriotism. If you fail, you'll be back in a hospital bed again, waiting for the firing squad. No promises on passing, that's for sure. So how does it feel to be a patient in one of the most advanced ICUs in the world? Would you do me a favor and tell the suits about visiting hours? I'll never get better with them assaulting me day and night with their questions. Must be part of the top brass's inquiry. More like an interrogation. According to them, I'm a traitor and an accomplice to the boss's defection. They're just looking for a scapegoat. Yeah. Does that mean they're after you too? Mm. Yeah. Let's just say neither one of us is going to be made a national hero out of this. Okay. Does this mean Fox is going to die? No. This fox is still one step ahead of the hounds. The reason I came to see you today, Jack, it's time for Fox to clear its name. What are you talking about? The situation has changed. We've still got a chance to come out of this one alive. Yeah, what kind of chance? Don't get too excited. Here, have a cigar. It's Cuba. <laughs> We're watching from like a camera or something. This morning, like... I had a meeting with the CIA. They decided when they're going to execute us? No. Something even bigger. What? Yesterday, the White House received an unexpected call. President Johnson? Yes, I hear you, Mr. Chairman. It was a hotline call from Khrushchev to President Johnson. From the head of the Soviet Union? That's right. A few days ago, one of our country's main design bureaus, OKB-754, OK was up. destroyed in a nuclear explosion. At about the same time, our anti-aircraft radar picked up a signature that appeared uh -oh. to come from one of your military aircraft. Does any of this sound familiar to you? In Retaliation, I have placed our armed forces on secondary alert. Depending on your response, I may be left with no choice but to order the military to maximum alert and unleash Armageddon. With the help of your predecessor, I was able to survive the Cuban incident. But my power is not as great as it once was. If I am to survive this crisis, I must have your full cooperation. I should have contacted you myself. <laughs> Did you know that one of our soldiers defected to your country a week ago? The boss lady? No. So you haven't heard then? The man boss who lady? arranged the defection was a Gru colonel by the name of Yevgeny oh. Borosovich Volgin. Okay, yeah, they're not blaming Volgin. Me. Yeah, he's that guy. Of the Brezhnev faction. Go on. Who is the soldier? Her name is the boss. Yes. She's a living she's legend. During World War II, she was the one who led us <laughs> to victory in that war. Oh. In Russia, you know her as Voyevoda. Oh, whoa. You mean the boss? The mother the of boss. your special forces? Uh-oh, so yep, she's been over the there. One. And she took two miniature nuclear shells along with her. The boss took two miniature nuclear shells. That's what he just said. I'm afraid so. I believe they were a gift for her new hosts. Hmm, crazy Davy Crockett host. Atomic Battle Group delivery system was completed two years ago. But serious problems were found with the launcher's range and precision. Although they were mass produced, they've never been deployed in battle. That oh, Sokolov's crap. research facility was completely wiped out. The whole area is polluted. I can only offer you my deepest condolences over this terrible tragedy. So, the boss, with Colonel Volgen's help, stole two experimental nuclear shells and took them with her as gift when she defected. Then, yes. shortly thereafter, Sokolov's design lab, a top They're secret military everything. research facility, was destroyed by one of these weapons. Yes. Am I right so far? Yes. Yes, that's correct. 
And the American government denies any involvement in the affair. Is that right as well? Yes. That's correct. We were not involved in any way. Then we what not. was a U.S. military aircraft doing on our radar screen? Picking me up. It was clearly in violation of our airspace. And yet you say it was not acting under your orders. Uh-oh. That's correct. <laughs> you expect me to believe that this was all the work of a single soldier? I don't know what else to tell you. We're literally the telling the truth. The that this is all a ploy on your part. I've said it once and I'll say it again. Our government had nothing to do with it. And I would like dearly to believe you. However, I'm afraid my power over the military has weakened since the Cuban incident. I will need some kind of proof that this was not the action of the American government. You have one week. One you must week. catch the boss yourselves and recover the remaining nuclear device. Oh gosh. Then you must find some way to prove your innocence. Prove our innocence? Yes. Preferably something painful. Prove to me that this is not merely another one of your tricks. The boss should be close to Colonel Volgan. How about a little co-action? I would not expect too much if I were you. The political situation here is unstable. And Colonel Volgan is a member of the Brezhnev faction, which seeks to topple my government. One week. You have That's only not one enough week. Time. And if it is not too much to ask, do something about Volgan as well. Well, what course. is that supposed to mean? Killing. Nothing. It means nothing. Okay, Call it what? a modest gentleman's agreement to ensure our continued relationship. What if we can't prove our innocence? They're gonna hurt us. Then I will be unable to restrain the military. I will be ousted, and they will seek their revenge. Ooh, okay. A nuclear attack on the United States? <gasps> oh no. I leave the disposal of this situation entirely to your discretion, Mr. President. Disposal? If you fail, it will mean the beginning of a new world war. We don't need that, that's for sure. To put it simply, in order to avoid a full-scale nuclear conflict, we have to prove that America was not involved in that explosion. And eliminating the boss ourselves will prove America's innocence? What? Right. Yes, because she The higher ups have decided that you're the only one capable of pulling this off. You were her last apprentice. Screw this one up, and we'll both be six feet under. There's no choice. <laughs> okay. Yep, that's what I said we gotta do. Are the Russians going to be helping us? The KGB has promised to lend us one of their communications satellites so that you and I can talk to each other. I know that's around. it. They've also put us in touch with a couple of insiders. I'm just waiting here. Insiders? There was a defection in September 1960. Do you remember it? You mean the two NSA codebreakers who went over to the Soviet Union? Precisely. Since then, they've apparently been training with the KGB for exactly this kind of situation. Their code names are Adam and Eva. Adam I've and Eva. I've been told that Adam has infiltrated Vulcan's ranks also arrange for him to provide you with an escape route. You'll need to rendezvous with him when you get there. Am I in that little jet? Control. Unidentified aircraft detected. Altitude 30,000 feet. Speed exceeding Mach 3. Bearing south. I'm about to lose it. Scary. Oh my gosh. Ah. Looks like we were just gonna fall right onto the earth. gonna land gently. Whoa. This guy I don't know how to 
a parachute. <laughs> you don't land. You don't land um gracefully. Well, I mean, but how can you? We're trying to go undercover. We gotta land in the woods. All right, today's video is more like a movie. <laughs> Now what? Now we just gotta... It looks like we in the same dang place. This is Snake. Do you read me? Loud and clear. Glad to see you landed safely. I got blown pretty far off target. What? Snake, let's go over your mission objectives one more time. <sighs> Rescue Sokolov. Again. Find out what's happened to the Shagahod. Then okay. destroy it. Oh. And finally... Eliminate the boss. I gotta kill her on Eliminate this Eliminate the boss. This mission will be codenamed Operation Snake Eater. All because right. I'll be taking on the boss in her Cobra unit, right? Don't forget about Colonel Volkin. I'm right. not a hired killer. We are I know, him. but that was the Kremlin's demand. Demand? You mean it wasn't just a request? We have What's to. What's it to us if the Khrushchev regime is threatened by the Colonel and his faction? If supporting the current regime helps us avoid a nuclear exchange, then that's what we'll do. And what are the CIA's demands? Our priorities are the rescue of Sokolov and the destruction of the Shagahod. Roger that, Major Tom. Hold on, Snake. What Turn now? Foot. I'm changing my code name. It turns out Tom wasn't the most auspicious choice. What okay. do you mean? Well, the truth is, when I chose my code name, I picked the wrong one. <laughs> Why did he lie? One? Did you ever see the movie The Great Escape? It came out last year. I must have missed that one. Anyway. It's based on a true story <laughs> about prisoners who escaped from a POW camp in Nazi Germany. The prisoners dig three tunnels as part of their plan, but the Nazis find two of the tunnels before they're finished. The prisoners okay. succeed in escaping by using the last remaining tunnel. The names of those three tunnels were Dick, Harry, and Tom. I get it. You used the name of the tunnel they escaped in as your code name because you thought it would bring you good luck. Yes, that's exactly right. At least, that was the plan. But... But I got the name wrong. The one they escaped him was Harry. No, you Tom was one of the unlucky us. tunnels. It was discovered by the Nazis before it was finished. I watched the movie wow. again just to make sure. In fact, I even ordered the actual that don't film even matter. from the movie company. Yeah, it doesn't sound like a name to use. He's superstitious. So what should I call you? Hmm. Harry. You know, let's oh. just use Zero, like we've been doing all along. Well, why we even right. talk about it? Major Zero it is. We'll start over from square one. From square zero. My frequency is 140.85. 140.85. Oh, I almost forgot. Paramedic is with us again on this mission. Thank is God. this her last chance too? If we fail, she'll have her medical license revoked. It's more or less the same kind of fate. Her frequency is the same as during the virtuous You really mission. gotta write these down. 145.73. She'll be recording your mission data as well, just like the last time. That frequency is also the same. Yes. One for zero point nine six. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And there's one more person on your support team. His name is Mr. Sigand. He's an expert on the latest in weapons and equipment technology. You'll be going up against some of the world's most advanced weaponry when you infiltrate the research facility. If you have All any right. questions, just ask him. His frequency is one four eight point four one. Mr. Sigand, got it. Adam, your KGB contact, is waiting for you at the abandoned factory up ahead. The same factory Sokolov was being held in last what? week. What? You're kidding. Yes. I Meet am up back with Adam in the first. same dang He's spot. cleared the way for you to rescue Sokolov. How will I know this Adam guy when I see him? You'll know once you reach the factory. The whole area's been polluted by the fallout from that nuclear blast. No one else would dare come close. The password is, who are the Patriots and Lali Lulelo. Lali Lulelo. Gotcha. You've been equipped with a 45 for this mission. Be careful, it's noisy. I thought ah. standard Fox procedure was procure on site weapons acquisition. The circumstances are different this time. Good. You're now on an official mission for the United States government. Good. It would be necessary to make your presence known to a certain extent, to the Khrushchev regime at the very least. But remember, this is still a sneaking mission. Nope. Snake, nope. if you nope. fail this mission, it will mean an all-out nuclear war. Keep that in mind and proceed with extreme caution. Uh -uh. Understood. 
I got Commencing a knife. Operation Snake Eater. Golly. Well, at least I can shoot now. <laughs> I can shoot now, thank God. Anyways, okay. Anyways, this is where I'm getting in for today. Um, this game is actually pretty difficult. Well, the sneaking around was pretty freaking difficult. And obviously, it's still going to be pretty freaking difficult. Um, so, saying that, I'm definitely going to attempt to try to finish this game. But, like I said, it might be pretty difficult. Um, I like it so far. I got to get used to it. But, yeah. Um, today, it seemed, it seemed more like of a movie for the very beginning, which is pretty cool. But, anyways... They do, sure do talk a lot. But like I said, pretty difficult. I am going to try to finish it. We will see how that works out. But anyways, I'm going to end right here. Remember to leave me a like, leave me a comment, and sub if you haven't subbed. And I'll see all you guys later in our next mission. Bye!